The year was 2006, a year that marked a new era for home consoles. The Xbox 360, one of the greatest gaming consoles ever created, released just a year prior, and in only a year, 10 million were sold. Sony's PlayStation 2 was on its way out after an illustrious six years, racking up 103 million sales in that span. Two years prior, Nintendo released its fifth mainstream handheld console, the DS, which went on to be the best-selling handheld console of all time, selling a total of 154 million units worldwide. And after a lackluster five years, Nintendo's most recent home console, the GameCube, was on its last legs. The small amount of people still playing on the GameCube were growing tired of it, either opting to play the console with the much inferior capabilities but far superior set of games to play, the Nintendo 64, or leaving Nintendo in the dust and buying the widely growing Xbox 360. In either case, Nintendo needed something to revive their home console reputation, and in November of 2006, Nintendo did just that, by releasing one of the most widely recognizable consoles of the 21st century to date, the Nintendo Wii. The Wii had an amazing six years of being Nintendo's featured home console, and even more good years after its successor, the Wii U, failed to live up to expectations. But we aren't here to talk about the Wii console itself. Let's rewind. The main selling point of the Wii is of course its innovative motion controls. Nintendo even teamed up with a firm called Gyration Inc., a company that had developed patents for motion detection in the past, just to make sure the Wii's motion controls were done correctly. And we all know how great, although sometimes fluky, the controls for the Wii were at the time. But Nintendo needed a game to showcase the Wii's motion controls to build its reputation to the public's eye. And they needed something that anyone could figure out, whether you were a casual gamer, or a longtime veteran in the video game space. And at E3 2006, Nintendo revealed Wii Sports, along with their new console to the world. They also announced that Wii Sports would be shipped along with every new console, meaning every person who bought a Wii would get the chance to try the game for themselves. And to this day, Wii Sports is the fourth best-selling video game of all time, only behind Minecraft, Grand Theft Auto V, and Tetris for mobile. And the sales mirror the love for the game that many people, including me, have. But what is it that makes Wii Sports so universally loved? What makes Wii Sports a perfect game? Let's start with the selection of sports themselves. There are five sports to choose from, and you get points based on your performance. Once you reach a thousand points, you get labeled as a pro. The first sport to choose from is tennis, where you can play doubles and tennis by yourself, against a friend, or against whatever family member decides they want the smoke. You can play a single match, a best of three, or a best of five. Tennis is probably the easiest sport to learn in Wii Sports, as all it requires is that you can shake your Wii remote like a tennis racket. Next is baseball, which is almost the complete opposite of tennis. Baseball is one of the hardest sports in real life, and that translates to Wii Sports too. Wii Sports baseball works mostly the same as regular baseball, but with a few changes. First, there are only three innings in a game, and there are no extra innings which means there are draws in Wii Sports Baseball. Another change Nintendo made to keep the simplicity of the game is the base running, or lack thereof. You see, when you hit a ball in Wii Sports Baseball, the game has a way of deciding whether the hit is going to be a single, a double, or a triple based on how long it takes the defense to field the ball. This was done so the player does not have to control the runners on base themselves and makes it much more simple for the casual gamer. The next sport on the list is bowling. Bowling is pretty straightforward. You hold the B button on the Wii Remote, and you swing your arm underhand like a bowling ball. Easy enough, right? Well, the thing is, Wii motion controls weren't always accurate, so sometimes this would cause your ball to curve randomly. And more often than not, your ball would curve, leading you to have to adjust where you're standing in order to make up for the curve. And who can forget the animation of letting go of your ball backwards, scaring everyone in the entire bowling alley, and prompting a message telling you how to throw your bowling ball correctly the next time. Let's move on to golf, one of the most complex sports in Wii Sports. In golf, you can pick to either play a 3-hole game or a 9-hole game, with beginner, intermediate, and expert difficulties. As you ramp up in difficulty, the weather becomes more of a problem, with high-speed winds playing a factor in your game. You have an assortment of clubs to choose from, from a driver all the way down to a wedge and a putter. And the best part is, you aren't stuck hitting in a certain club, although the game does give you a recommendation for each stroke you take. Lastly, there's boxing. In boxing, you and your opponent have a health bar, 
and once the health bar is completely drained, the player gets knocked down. If the player gets back up from getting knocked down, their max health bar decreases, making it easier to get knocked back down again. There are three rounds per fight in boxing, and whoever knocks their opponent out first wins. There's some strategy to boxing, as you can throw jabs, hooks, and uppercuts depending on how you move your Wii Remote. Jabs do the least amount of damage per hit, and hooks and uppercuts do much more. But let's be honest, how many of us could actually control what punch we threw? From tennis to boxing, all of these sports have their unique ideas, and anyone who played Wii Sports has a favorite sport to play. Mine is bowling, but let me know down in the comments below what your favorite sport in Wii Sports is. Now let's talk about the training mode. In training, there are three different game modes per sport that can help you improve your skills. For example, if you wanted to get better at long distance drives in golf, there's a mode that focuses on putting your ball onto a target on an island over a lake. Or, if you wanted to get better at dodging and boxing, there's a mode where Matt, everyone's favorite default me, throws tennis balls at you and you have to dodge them. Or my personal favorite, the bowling training mode called Power Throws, where you practice, you guessed it, your power. This mode starts with 10 pins like a normal bowling alley, but with each level, it adds more pins until eventually you have to knock down 100 pins. But what many people didn't know at the time of release is that there's a secret button at the end of the guardrails on either side of the alley, marked with a red light. So if you manage to throw the ball just perfectly and make it ride the rail all the way down to the end of the alley, it will knock over every pin on the screen, giving you an automatic strike. And there's nothing more satisfying than watching all the pins fall in unison, like some sort of synchronized swimming lesson. The training mode has so many fun and unique challenges, and sometimes it can be more fun than just playing the regular game modes. And the part of Wii Sports that most people forget, mostly because many of us just chose to ignore it, is the Wii Fitness Test. This mode gives you a training game from all five sports, and tests you on your abilities in all of them. Let's be honest here, this game mode should not be taken seriously as a fitness test, as it doesn't take fitness to shake a Wii Remote around for 15 minutes. However, it can be used as a test of skill in all of the sports, giving you an idea of how good you actually are at the game. And I think if Nintendo labeled the game mode as such, more people would remember it today, because it would have added a little bit more competitiveness to the game. But instead, many people chose to ignore it, because they either did not care about their fitness, or just sounded plain boring to them. But although the game mode sounded boring, it was fun getting random training games to do, not knowing exactly what was coming next. It was a good choice for when you knew you wanted to play Wii Sports, but you couldn't decide what you wanted to play. It would be a disservice to not talk about the music in Wii Sports. From the moment you boot up the game on your Wii, this game just oozes charm. The short tune that plays when you select the game from the Wii menu screen that all of us have come to know and love today. The title screen music once you get into the game, one of the most recognizable menu themes of all time and a song that could be easily replicated by anyone with just a bit of skill on the piano. The main menu music, a simple melody, but one fitting for such a simple looking screen. and even the triumphant song that plays in the training menu, getting you hyped and ready to hone your skills in all the sports. Every sport even has its own start and end music, and they all match the vibe of the sport. And who can forget the fitness test result music? When you bring up Wii Sports, most people will probably think of this song first, as it has been used so heavily outside the gaming community that people who have never even played Wii Sports recognize the song. And most people don't even know that that music was used for fitness test results. 
It's been used on social media for as long as I can remember, and it just got more popular with the rise of TikTok. Every time I come back to Wii Sports, I can't help but start jamming out, calmly of course, to all the music in the game. It's so freaking catchy, and once you get it stuck in your head, it never ends. But out of all the things I've talked about so far that makes Wii Sports a great game, there's one thing I haven't mentioned yet that's so important, the game may not even have the popularity it has without it. I'm talking about Miis. Being able to use your own Mii in Wii Sports is what makes the game feel so special to me. This might sound silly, but how many hours did you spend in the Mii Creator making funny Mii's and seeing what kind of disturbing creature you could make out of what the creator offered you? I remember as a kid watching tutorials on how to make Mii's look like Snoop Dogg or The Undertaker, watching one step at a time, pausing in between, just to make sure I got them perfect. I had so many Mii's on my Wii, but every time I thought of a new idea, I just couldn't stop myself from making it. And then seeing all those Mii's you created playing on your team in baseball was the most amusing thing ever. And just look at Nintendo Switch Sports and the outrage it caused over the character design. People wanted Mii's back, not because they were the most realistic looking thing, and not because there was a huge array of customization, but because we all know and love Mii's. And I couldn't imagine playing Wii Sports with a realistic looking character model, it would almost feel uncanny in a way. Like the feeling you get when you're walking through an empty mall or a school. It would just feel like something's missing. I have fond memories of playing Wii Sports as a kid, starting from about the age of 5. I would come back to the game constantly whenever I was feeling energetic. My favorite at the time was always boxing because I was a messed up little kid and I loved the idea of fighting. It took me forever to figure out how to punch the right way though, and to this day, I still struggle sometimes with the mechanics. I grinded for probably years to get to pro unboxing, and one day, I finally beat Matt and became pro. And that was probably the best day of my life, at least for that day. I'm sure I moved on to trying to beat a different game the next day, because I had such a huge selection of Wii games growing up. Once I got older though, I started to enjoy games like golf and bowling more. I think golf stuck with me because of the high skill ceiling. Getting good at golf was a challenge, and I've loved the idea of a good challenge in a video game since I was about 7 or 8. Before that though, I was a little wimp who cried every time I ran into a hardship. The thing is, I never really got good at golf, at least not to my standards. I'm not even really sure I ever reached pro in golf, but I know I will. But bowling is a different story. See, I don't like bowling because it's hard to figure out. I like bowling because of the simplicity. Once you figure out the controls and how to get your ball to go wherever you want, you can just pick up Wii Bowling whenever you feel like it, like riding a bike. My highest level in the single sport is bowling. Do I remember the number? Not a chance. But I do remember the stars you get on your bowling ball when you reach pro. And I always felt so special using the pro ball. There's one thing that still eludes me in bowling though. A perfect game. The game is so fluky that it takes so many attempts to bowl a perfect game. You have to be the ultimate master at Wii Bowling to bowl a perfect game. Or just get super lucky and have everything go your way. One day I'll bowl that perfect game on Wii Sports. And you'll all get to witness it. Hopefully. Wii Sports is no doubt one of the most influential games ever made, and it has a place in so many people's hearts. The music that is so universally recognized and catchy, yet so simple. The selection of so many unique game modes that can keep you sucked in for hours at a time. The motion controls that sometimes didn't work the way you wanted. The ability to use your own created character that the game just wouldn't be the same without. And the fact that everyone who has ever owned a Wii has had the opportunity to try the game out for themselves just makes it all the more impactful. Wii Sports has touched so many lives, mine included, and has inspired ideas for other games that would come after it. To this day, so many people still play Wii Sports, whether that's to be the personal best that they never got the chance to do before, or to see all your old created me's on the baseball field again. Or maybe it's just to jam out to the awesome soundtrack. But whatever it may be, Wii Sports' legacy will live on forever. And that's why Wii Sports is a perfect game. Hey guys, Hunter here. First of all, I want to thank you for making it all the way to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. This is my second video essay, and if you haven't seen the first, click the card in the upper right hand corner, or the link in the description below. Also, most people who watch my videos aren't subscribed. So if you're one of those people, go ahead and subscribe. It's free, and it helps the channel out a lot. And stay tuned for more video essays in the future, and the regular daily gaming videos. 
Anyways, I gotta go start my next video essay now, so I'll see you in the next one.